Are you a hopeful student who wants to study medicine and has put down biomedical sciences as their fifth choice? Did your teachers tell you to put down biomedical sciences just in case you don't get into medicine so you can do your three years of biomed and then go do medicine? Are you an A-level student who's just recently graduated who's thinking of taking your place at biomedical sciences because you didn't get into medicine? If that's you, wait, stop, don't do it yet. I'm here to tell you why biomedical sciences is not an alternative to medicine. Hello, my name is Roberta. I am a second year medical student and I'm also a biomedical science graduate. And like you, I too fell down the trip of if I don't get into medicine or dentistry, you know, I would go and do biomedical sciences and then do it after. But there are a lot of things that teachers don't tell you about the whole process as a graduate to try and get into medicine. And that is what I'm here to talk to you about today. So you get a well-rounded view of whether you should still go study biomedical sciences if you don't get into medicine. Okay, so this video is gonna be split into four parts. Number one, my regrets and what I wish I knew before and during studying biomed. Number two, what I gained from studying biomed and reasons why biomed would be good for you. Number three, my journey into medicine and how hard it was for me and what I had to do as a graduate trying to get into medicine. And finally, number four, tips for students who want to study medicine. So before I start this video, I just wanna say that biomed is not an alternative to medicine. Medicine and biomedical sciences are two completely different degrees. The way they are taught are completely different and the skills that you gain out of it are completely different. So it should not be compared to one another as degrees. They're standalone degrees on their own. I think that's what a lot of teachers have misconceptions about that. You know, if you do biomed, then um, medicine will be easier or that, you know, understanding medicine will be a lot better for you or getting into medicine will be easier for you. That is not necessarily the case. So number one, what I regret and what I wish I knew before studying biomed and during my biomedical course. So my first regret is not researching the degree. So what happened to me was I originally applied for dentistry. For me, I wanted to do max facts. So it really didn't matter if I applied to medicine or dentistry before. I just decided to apply for dentistry, but I would have eventually done medicine in my eyes. So I applied for dentistry and I got in um, on the condition of that I get three A's and obviously at the end of A-levels I got two A's and a B, one mark off an A, the most devastating day of my life and they just wouldn't accept me with a B regardless of the fact that it was one mark off. So in my haste and in my panic, I just quickly took my unconditional offer um, to study biomedical sciences at Queen Mary's without really researching the degree and what the degree actually entails. I didn't really know exactly how the degree structure was and how the program was going to be run so i wish i did that before the second thing i regret not doing is researching other options again in my panic mode i was like oh my gosh i'm not going to university i mean my teacher said that if i do biomed then it'd be easy to get into medicine and dentistry afterwards so i'll just do it i regret not looking for other options at the time and just going for biomed i don't think i made the a full well-rounded decision i did i made my decision based on like stress and i finally i regret not researching what to do after like I regret not knowing what biomedical sciences can get you into and what it can't get you into just in case I was going to take a gap year before I studied medicine I regret not having those uh, thoughts during my degree I just it just didn't pop into my head and, and the lecturers didn't really make it clear what you could do afterwards that like the careers advisors um, it was advertised but not really advertised enough in my opinion, when I was studying my degree. The things I wish I knew when I was studying biomed is that, one, you're not guaranteed a job in the field when you graduate because there are a lot of people studying my biomedical sciences. Getting a job in that field is actually not easy. Even if you wanna do it, you know, for a year before you go back into medicine, even if you wanna get into the biomedical science field after graduating, it's actually not that easy. And I found out the hard way when I was when I got rejected from all my universities and I had to apply for jobs while I was reapplying for medicine. The second thing I wish I knew is that most universities offer biomedical sciences, but not every university that offer, offers biomedical sciences is accredited. Out of the 115 universities that offer biomedical sciences, only 50 of them are accredited by the biomedical science institutes. When you graduate, you come up with, with an accredited degree in biomedical sciences. And what do I mean by accredited? Accredited means 
The programs are accredited by the Institute of Biomedical Sciences for individuals who wish to qualify in biomedical science. They also meet the academic requirements for registration as a biomedical science with the Health and Care Professional Council. Other biomedical science degrees can be used in conjunction with laboratory training during the, the degree of post-graduation for the completion of the Institute's Certificate of Registration Portfolio. All applicants seeking a route into HCPC registration who hold a non-accredited degree will be required to have their degree assessed by the Institute. It may be necessary for the individuals to undertake additional learning to acquire the requisite level of knowledge. The exact requirement would depend on the content of the applicant's honour degrees. So what they're basically saying is that if your degree is not accredited by the IBMS, then you will have to undergo extra training and do extra courses probably for it to be accredited for you to then move forward to, to gain your ACPC certificate, which is already hard by itself. And what they don't tell you is that it's really hard to get um, placements that will allow you to be ACPC registered. Again, this is for people who want to do something outside of biomed. If you don't really care about that, then yeah, sure, go to a non-accredited degree and get a non-accredited biomedical science degree if that's what you want. And the final thing I wish I knew before studying biomed is that it is not easier to get into medicine when you get a biomedical science degree. If you apply for an undergraduate medicine course or a dentistry course as a graduate, it's going to be harder for you to get in as a graduate because they prioritize spaces for people who come straight up A levels and then they give spaces to graduates. And if you want to do the graduate entry degree, the competitiveness to get into medicine is 10 to 1 at A level standard. The competitiveness to get into graduate medicine is 100 to 1. So for one, every one space, 100 people apply for that one space and you'll be competing with other graduates who have PhDs, masters, who are other already healthcare professionals like nurses, dentists. Not saying that they're not going to be other graduates who are applying at your level. It will be difficult because you will be competing with other graduates who've had more time in their field to gain knowledge. And with the graduate entry, you have to do things like GAMSA or some of the degree and you also have some university required to do specific hours of work experience and you have to have evidence of that before you apply. I would say try and get in at A level but if you weren't able to get in at A level be ready for how difficult it's going to be to apply for medicine as a graduate. It's not impossible but it's not going to be easier. And another thing that I wish I knew is that biomedical sciences alone as a degree is very very hard. Um, a lot of people say oh yeah it's easier than medicine. It isn't, it's, it's not. The kind of knowledge that you're required in biomedical sciences far exceeds the kind of like deep knowledge that you're required in medicine. Not only that, you have to do presentations, papers, you have to really understand and read hundreds of research papers and, science, and your scientific knowledge has to be updated, especially if it's a field that you wanna go into when you graduate. You need to be able to understand a lot of research and papers for your exams, because I know quite a lot of universities do essay style questions, so you need to have supplementary research when you do your exams. It is no means easy. I'm not I'm not saying that medicine is easier than biomed. I'm just saying that these degrees, as someone who's done biomed and I'm currently doing medicine, they're really different and they're just as hard. If you're not ready to go into medicine from as 18, I would suggest maybe looking at other degrees in medical sciences and not going straight for biomedical science because you might actually find another degree that will still allow you to apply for medicine later but you might find a more affinity towards like genetics or biochemistry there are other degrees in the school of biological and chemical sciences that you could you know do instead of biomedical science so don't just put your hope or don't streamline what your degree you're gonna do as biomedical science because you feel like that's the only degree you can do to get into medicine. Look around, you may find other degrees that may call to you more than per se biomedical science. Now I'm gonna talk about the third thing, what I've gained from studying biomedical sciences. Now I know like the beginning of the video, it felt like I was just bashing it. I'm not, I'm just trying to tell you like the realistic future of what would happen if you study biomed. That's in my case, because obviously my case might be different to other people's. So the first thing I think I gained while studying biomed is the fact that I became so confident. I became confident in public speaking, presentations, teamwork, team building, and studying medicine, the science I learned in this first year, 
Um, it was much easier to comprehend and understand. Let me just get this straight. It was easier to comprehend and understand, but it didn't make it any easier to memorize. Memorization is another thing. Like the amount of content you need to know in medicine is more than biomed, but the content itself was easy for me to understand. So it took one or two steps away and all I needed to do was just, you know, then memorize the things that I needed for my exams. And during my biomed degree, I did make friends for life. Like friends, I would say that will be in my life for forever. Most of my friends wanted to study medicine at the end. So we all encouraged each other to do well. And I also found a love for certain topics that I didn't think I was going to like. For example, cancer biology, immunology, physiology. You do find niches that you that you end up loving um, in third year of biomed. Thirdly, I'm going to talk about my journey briefly, my journey into medicine and how hard it was for me. So I applied for dentistry before, as I said, I, it wouldn't have mattered if I applied for dentistry and medicine. I wanted to do max facts in the beginning. And then in my third year of university, I decided to apply for medicine again, did all the applications and whatnot, and I got rejected from all four of them. So I ended up taking a job as a healthcare assistant because I couldn't find any openings in any like biomedical science field, like not even as lab assistants, like all the jobs were gone. So I had to work as a healthcare assistant. I applied again for medicine and then I got rejected three times, got uh, an interview uh, to Warwick, did it. And then I was rejected, but put on the waiting list and later or I was rejected. And then I really gave up hope and I decided to go study medicine in Europe, which I got the space. Then my friend told me about clearing and then that's how I got my place into medicine through clearing. I would say don't give up because I never did, but it was no by no means easy. Just because I graduated to in biomedical sciences, it didn't mean that I, I was guaranteed a space in medicine and I really felt that reality haven't, re, haven't applied um, twice and I got rejected by eight universities and it did knock my self-esteem a lot and thinking that maybe medicine wasn't for me and I wasn't meant to be a doctor. And finally, I'm gonna be talking about number four, tips for students who want to study medicine. So first thing I would say is, if you got rejected before the interview or got rejected after the interview, but come results day and you get the grades, I would definitely say either take a gap here and reapply again, or go through clearing and reapply and to those universities who allow you to go through medicine through clearing. I know there's like maybe four universities that do that. If you got the grades on, on results day, yeah, definitely try going through clearing or take a gap here and reapply again. One year in the grand scheme of your life is not going to make much difference. That year is going to go by like that, trust me. The second thing I would say is if you didn't get the grades, I would say look for foundation courses. I know quite a lot of universities who offer medicine also do foundation um, degrees where you, where you do one year foundation and then get into medicine. Now, I know this is not the case for all of the universities that offer foundation degrees. Some offer it on the basis that if you complete the year, then you get accepted into the five-year program. Some offer it to do to foundation year, but you're not guaranteed a space into the five-year program. But I would say, you know, just do your own research and find the universities that will allow you to enter the five-year program after doing foundation year. As I said, one year is nothing in the grand scheme of life. So you just graduate a year later than other people. Another thing I would suggest, which is a bit unconventional, I mean, not right now during the coronavirus uh, situation, but I would say study abroad. Like they're, like I said, I got accepted into a university in Europe to study, but I got then got my space at my university in the UK, which is why I never went. So I would suggest that maybe if all of those options aren't for you, try studying abroad. It does sound daunting. You're still a doctor, you still have the, your degree in medicine. It doesn't really matter. So that could be an option for you if all the other options do not apply to you. And finally, if you've exhausted all those options um, and you still want to study biomedical sciences, then it's up to you. Like. There's no one size fits all. I mean, I still studied biomedical sciences and I got into medicine. I know some universities offer a transfer course. It's very rare. I think a lot of universities are phasing them out. I know that in Queen Mary, they don't, they don't do the transfer course anymore. You had to complete your three years in university, be in the top 20, then you're guaranteed an interview. But the guaranteed an interview didn't necessarily mean you were guaranteed a space in the university to study medicine. So I know that a few universities now offer the top 10 or the top 20 people will be guaranteed an interview. Um, so that knocks off one extra step of applying through UCAS, doing your UCAT. Um, you need to do best you can at the interview to increase the chances of getting into that university. My take on is like, regardless of all the options I've been given you, do not give up. If you want to study medicine and you feel that medicine is your calling and that this is what you want to do, then do not give up because I never gave up and I know that you may regret it if you, if you give up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. 
keep shining and I'll see you next time. Bye.